nowadays a very popular custom ROM for some devices and we have Redmi 7 and for that device we have PrizeDroid as well and we are getting back to back updates and really thanks to the builder for building this one another magic so without wasting time let's get it started first of all let me show you from the settings and what's the changes and this is the about phone user interface and just click on rise right device to know other details like processor and ram battery and other things so we have android 12 finally and we have android 12 logo as well so let me show you that so this is android 12 l which comes with a very latest security update and the uh, uh, rise droid version bomb to 5.0 that means previously i did a review of uh, 3.5 or 4 maybe and this is uh, i was uh, a 4.0 maybe and this is 5.0 so android security update which is august 5th very latest and kernel use lineage os latest one then get back to other things like I'm using here the vanilla build this time you guys will get the GFs and vanilla both build available and I don't recommend to use the GFs build and if you use the vanilla build then you have the choice to use any kind of GFs which you would like to use just use light GFs to get better performance and here we have the system profiles like lineage OS and you guys can select automobiles default and silent and if you want to create new profile also you can do that then we have gesture like as before and if you are looking for a custom room which you want uh, from everything you have like a better gaming performance and high fps gaming and uh, google photos unlimited storage and huge kind of collection uh, customization then uh, other things like smoothness if you want just a package a full package and better battery backup and if you want everything you will get in that room so if you ask me to uh, say in one word then I just want to say it's awesome you guys can easily use on your daily life this is a daily drive custom room so this is pill length can be changed and back gesture animation and gesture haptic and other things so you book assistant uh, navigation hint everything is available there is uh, no misery in that room uh, you have huge kind of customization I will talk about it later and one handed mode and other things double tap everything is just just awesome working fine without any issue rise drive laboratory if you want to check it then of course have a look allow application downgrade if you need to downgrade any application just allow that feature and a streak standby policy and other things you can read it yourself if you want to customize then and then we have the account safety and emergency then we have uh, privacy and other things you guys already know about that now let's talk about the security and lock screen we have everything here face unlock fingerprint and app lock of course application security which is called here and a bit different and everything is working fine without any issue and it utilities which is called the accessibility in previous rooms where i have uh done a review of 3.9.5 cherry choice we have that same thing so we have then sound and vibration the uh, uh, unique animation is here like other custom rooms uh, a few kind of rooms are available here uh, with that animations like this uh, live caption and other things which is working fine no problem and adaptive sound if you just enable that feature adaptive sound your sound quality will be really really improved and this is tested so no complaint about that and that buttons and other touch sounds and other things pre uh, you, you guys will get the new feature which is power app volume control which i already showed in 3.9.5 cherish os and charging sounds if you want to uh, listen the uh, charging sound then of course enable that one otherwise leave it then we have the storage and battery of course and i always uh, miss that part uh, battery backup how is that and almost in every all android 12 before uh, we have android 12 now we have android 12 l and of course android 12 l has better battery backup so no issues with battery you guys can easily use it and then we have the application section here if you want to see any system application or your uh, third-party application whatever you guys can check then we have the wallpaper and style 
as usual we have other things like wallpaper colors and basic colors which you prefer you guys can select according to your choice and themed icons upgrade everything is fine and wallpaper section you guys will get some inbuilt wallpapers if you want to use and which is really really cool and i'm using that one then we have the other things like the huge customization let's talk about it and if you want to just about us that means the source and the ROM makers and other name if you want to from rise right actually if you want to know about rise right the information is there if you want to check about us then and we have then here the buttons the necessary customizations actually a huge kind of customization is here and I don't want to waste your time by showing one by one I uh, will just show you the necessary customizations and the always on display schedule you guys can do that and battery info lock screen color clock color you guys can change double tap to sleep and fingerprint authentication other things and ripple effect that means when you just put your finger on the fingerprint scanner and your device will unlock with ripple effect so that's the feature and if you don't want to see the ripple effect then you guys can turn that off then get back and of course we have the miscellaneous and the latest game space is here notification mode is available here if you want to show or not whatever and ringer mode and other things you guys uh, can do huge customization here uh, on game space and which is really working fine and swipe to screenshot and pocket detection everything is working and unlock high fps and unlimited photo storage all are perfectly working then we have the navigation and of course you guys already know about that and enable pixel style animation for two button three button navigation but if you don't use the navigation pill bar if you want to use the button then you guys will get that pixel animation so that's it and i am a button space that means uh, the space below the keyboard if you don't want any space there then of course you guys can turn that off and then we have the layout normal layout and invert layout show arrow keys while typing so that's great things and actions back long press home long press and i already showed that in my previous videos so i don't want to waste time here then we have the notification of course uh, notification reticker if you want to use that feature which is latest actually use app card background uh, which is also good if you want to then and force stop button if you need show force stop button in the notifications long press menu if you want that force stop button in long press menu then of course you guys can enable that one too and battery light notification light and artwork media background everything is there and we have the notification control notification layout patterns we have a navigation and notification then we have the quick settings of course the necessary quick settings are there like and i just want to clear you guys it's really really butter and butter smooth not a single not a single bit lag and stator in there in the control center which is really impressive and is just a bit designed and you guys can also change that user interface of the control center i already showed in uh, rise droid 4.0 review uh, i showed it so if you miss then of course check out the description and you guys can watch that review too and here is the battery style can be changed use kind of uh, collection then battery and brightness slider and a weather position top or bottom whatever you guys can set and system info and hide keywords on secure lock screen and if you don't want to show your control center on lock screen then of course turn that on which is really great and change quick setting style design if you want to enable that one system ui will restart and your uh, tile setting will be changed and animation style you guys can select flip x flip y rotate whatever if you select one and let me show you if you just uh, get that animation actually then we have animation inter uh, interpolator whatever linear and other things you guys can customize and the time of course animation duration how you want actually edit tiles icon and other things settings shortcut and clear notification button everything which is just cool and sounds and other things sound also, also available here pulse if you want to see the pulse and really really cool features and finally you have the status bar and we have everything here you guys can customize your clock settings you guys can see on previous video super uh, i showed it only uh, on corvus os you guys will get that border uh, among the 
uh, date and time whatever you say then and we have that feature also in that room and if you want to enable the logo then of course you guys can enable a huge kind of logo collections are there then we have other things like our network monitor and everything is working i already checked and world style signal icons and every possible customization they try to provide us in that in that build actually so then we have the user interface uh, like ambient display charging animation settings background style that's the thing if you want to change the settings background style you guys can do that and settings home page style you guys can change and settings style is available here material style and other things and screen of animation and monitor engine and navigation bar style and font style huge kind of font collections available here if you want to use then it's up to you then system shapes and other things and I already showed you guys everything. I I'm just tired about that. So now let's talk about the smoothness. Actually, in one word, it's just awesome. In smoothness, though we have huge kind of customization, still this is really butter and butter smooth. No, not a single with lag and stator. And I didn't find any. And now let's talk about the important things. Like previous video, I already showed you guys um, the auto call rec auto call recording feature. I, I guess. Uh, if I'm not wrong, then of course auto call recording feature. So it, this is battery smooth experience, and you can see here, not lag. So just go to three dot menu and go to settings and find out the sound and vibration. Then you scroll down, and you guys will get auto call recording option. Just enable that feature, and then get back and make a phone call. You will get that feature. Just let me make a phone call here. when call will be received so it's asking my permission so recording call you guys can see in previous video i i forgot to show you guys but in that video i thought i should share with you people so that's it now let's talk about the geekbench score and which is really impressive and everything is just impressive in that room i just want to say 267 single core and multi core 1135 which is also great and now let me show you which is super throttling 86 percent and it because of surroundings and other things and today this is too much hot and other things if you keep using for some days and it will be more stable and use if you want other things uh, like uh, hotspot and other things screencast and screen recorder everything is working fine here and uh, animation is great here and if I miss anything, then just let me know in the comment section below. And of course, safety net is passed by default. No issues with that. I already checked it and other things. And one important thing is to show you guys on settings and which is the launcher, which is also customizable and great features are available. I'm using here by default. You guys will get two. Um, we have two icon pack one will be default and another will be sims icon pack and if you want to use more just click on plus button and go to play store and use uh, according to your choice then of course we have other things like icon size form size you guys can customize also and home screen the lock the if you want to lock the layout you can do that of course and status bar and other things if you don't want to see status bar then just turn that off and top shadow and dark status bar and if you want to uh, get dark status bar then enable that one then get back and we have the everywhere and all apps themed icons if you want then enable that feature you will get all app themed icons then we have the recent menus i already enabled greedy style which is that one this is called the greedy style and other things and if you want to use uh, any app info and split top and free form whatever you need you guys can do from there and if you have the close button and enable everything is there and i'm using zcam here and which i already did the review if you miss then check out description for that one and it's working fine in that one no issues with that and by default we will get that camera and which is also great no issues with that so hope you guys understand the video if i miss anything then just let me know in the comment section below so thank you for watching